Civil Engineering Academy. Hey there, engineers. Welcome to Civil Engineering Academy, where we're looking at a problem from analytic geometry and trigonometry. Um, and it reads like this in the following illustration. Angles 2 and 5 are 90 degrees. AD, the length AD equals 15. DC equals 20 and AC equals 25. What are the lengths of BC and BD respectively? The key to solving this one is recognizing that we're dealing with right triangles. Two right triangles that are kind of butted together and remembering our Pythagorean theorem. It's a hard word to say. Uh, which states that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So uh, I think to get at this we need to define each of these triangles in terms of the Pythagorean theorem and uh, see what we can do here. So let's uh, let, let's write um, some equations that describe these two triangles in terms of the Pythagorean theorem and see what happens. So uh, to start out for triangle, let's uh, let's define triangle ABD first. Now for that one, I'm going to say side AB squared plus BD squared is going to equal. 15 squared. Next, I think we want to get everything in each of these equations that we're going to write for, for these two triangles. We want to get them defined in terms of side BD because that's the common side that's shared. And I think if we do that, we're, we're going to find ourselves uh, in a good situation. So let's say uh, BD, let's rearrange this equation, BD squared it's going to equal 15 squared minus AB squared. Okay, so let's do the same thing for triangle DBC. Now, um, you know, let's let's write uh, these lengths on here so we can remember which ones are defined. So we got AD was 15, DC over here on this side was 20 and AC from here to here was 25 that was that entire length across here so let's define uh, the triangle uh, DBC the same way we did ABD so uh, let's say we or let we can say that uh, B D squared plus now uh, we got to get a little tricky here because we don't know what the side BC is, but we can say that side BC is going to be 25 minus AB squared, and all that's going to equal 20 squared. So we can rearrange this and define it in terms of BD squared and say BD squared is going to equal 20 squared minus 25 minus AB squared. Okay, so now we've got both of these triangles defined in terms of BD, side BD, and what we can do now is equate these two equations and uh, I think we'll be able to we'll be able to solve this. So if we say 15 squared minus a b squared equals 20 squared minus 25 minus a b squared. Okay, in the interest of time, we're gonna try to speed this up because we've got a lot of terms here that we've got to combine. Because, uh, again, we're trying to solve for, for AB. We should develop this term right here. In the next step, we should be at 15 squared minus AB 
squared equals 20 squared minus 25 squared minus 50 AB plus AB squared. So all that should reduce down to AB equals 15 squared minus 20 squared plus 25 squared divided by 50. Punch that into your calculator and you should get AB equals 9. Okay, so now that we know the distance AB is 9, we can find the distance BC because we've got the distance AC. So we could say that BC equals 25 minus 9 or 16. Okay, so now we can solve for BD because uh, we can say BD squared equals 15 squared minus, we solved for AB previously, 9 squared. BD equals the square root, 15 squared minus 9 squared. Punch that in your calculator, and you get 12. Okay, so we've got... Uh, there's an equal sign there. So we've got BD equals 12, and we've got uh, BC equals 16. Our answer is C. Hope that helps you out. We'll see you in the next one.